Hello, welcome to another Alberta Bushcrafter video. You may have seen my video on the Condor Sidekick, which I use for a tool and repair kit. This is great. On larger trips though, and I'm not just limited to what's in my pack, I like to carry a second piece of gear. Now this will fit on the pack. Uh, as I mentioned though, I think my loadout is about 40 to 45 pounds, and this is a good two pounds. But this is the another Condor product, this is the TNT pouch. I think that call it stands for tools and tech. Um, many, many different options. It's sort of like a heavy duty version of the sidekick. It's made more for uh, bigger tools. And this one's already weighing in at about two pounds. I've got a fair bit of stuff in there. So let's get a close up and have a look. Okay, now that I've got this thing right side up, let's get a closer look at it. First off, once again, you get all this. You've actually got some loops on the outside as well. You can use these for attaching other pouches or slipping stuff in there if you want. I don't. I don't like stuff outside my pack. I like everything inside the cases so it doesn't get lost. But also it's Velcroed, so you can put some of those cool uh, morale patches on. Like, like so. I'll find more patches. I've got plenty of morale patches. I happen to like them. Always good for a laugh. But yeah. Now, this was different than the sidekick because you've actually got two Velcro tabs on the side. This does keep it if it you know from blowing out. On the back, very nicely done. You have four loose, not attached, um, six inch tie straps, and like I said, tons of molly webbing here. This allows you to attach it a lot of different configurations to a lot of different packs. I like olive green because it fits perfectly with my Tatanka Last and Cracks pack, but as the other one, this baby comes in black, tan, olive drab multi-cam uh, as far as I've seen also ATAX FG and AU so at least six different color schemes probably more Condor's always coming out with new stuff oh and ACU so those are you who don't know those are camouflage patterns so let's open this baby up yeah with this one you do have to pull the velcro tabs back but once again, here's that nice feature. And this one has genuine paracord. It's actually not 550, I think it's 440. But this one's actually got that nice little top closure. Which you can adjust. Well, not that way, obviously. You can adjust the way you want. It can be used. This actually does work nicely as a work table. So first off comes with a vinyl pouch uh, map storage paper anything like that whatever you like in this one I have not filled this up completely I'll give you that right now but a couple things I have is uh, let's look at the bottom here I've got a large bit kit here And a couple bit extensions. This is some liquid solder. Works with a match. I actually threw in a carpenter's pencil because I actually find those useful when you're doing certain types of repairs. I'll ask you to bear with me if I get a little cotton melt here because I um, got a high pressure front coming in. And humidity is really, really low right now. So, on the other side, here, I've got, these are a couple of clamps I picked up, once again, at Princess Auto. A lot of this stuff in here is tools that uh, I used to carry, my everyday carry. 
this is actually a nice mini level. Oh, one more clamp in there. Actually got a genuine crescent wrench. Now let's digress for a minute. Get the bit kit out. So this is actually a nice bit kit if I can get it open. So this has got several different and unusual bits. So you can see you've got Torx security bits in there, you got a bunch of flatheads. You got a lot of Torx and hex security bits. Quite a few. Plus there's a bit driver or bit adapter right there in the bottom. Now on to the trick. So one of the things people don't know is if you do not have a bit driver for your Leatherman, that's why I carry a crescent wrench. Because if you take a look, the very bottom, that opening right there, is almost perfectly hex shaped. So, what you do is you can snug your bit driver right in there and precludes the need for a bit, you know, for, for, for that kind of bit driver. And of course, small crescent wrench is very handy for certain types of repairs. I will likely add a small screwdriver or bit driver in here. Give me a moment, snap that down. So this is a pretty solid kit in the sense that this bit kit really stays together. The nice thing is if you don't need certain ones, swap them out. Let's see what else. This is my old sharpener. This is a Smith's uh, diamond rat tail sharpener. Let's have a look. So like so. Has a rounded and flat edge. I will rotate it so you see this better. There's a flat edge. There's a rounded edge. That little groove in there is for hooks. And it's got a rat tail file, file for serrations. The one thing I don't like so much about this is that it is a little coarse. This is the Leatherman CT33. It came with my uh, anniversary kit. Nice little blade. I've got it very sharp. That's the Lansky um, kit for you. That's the Lansky Deluxe Sharpening Kit. That will shave hair. Nice little folder. I'm trying to remember how to get the there. So some people have trouble with this. It locks. This is actually the carabiner, but as my friend D at Multi-Tool School has pointed out, this is your bottle opener, folks. So this one, you push it down first. And it locks in. The guy who sold me to this, uh, that's Jesse at Wholesale Sports. He he had me going a lot with that. So back in that goes. So it doesn't look like a lot, but we're not done. There are a ton of loops here I can add extra stuff to, and I will. But while we're at it, oh, there's more. There's an entire pocket back here that is begging to be filled, and it will be. I am going to roll up a ton of duct tape and throw some paracord gear ties. This is a work in progress. Let's call this version 1. But in the lid, there's also a zip pocket. Let's see how far I've gotten with that. Quite. 50 feet of paracord. 20 feet of duct tape. 
Well, there's smaller bit. This is about 12 feet of paracord. More El Cheapo duct tape because it was there. What else? Ah, this was again. Whole bunch of gear ties. Medium and long. You can get the three footers in here. Uh, what else? This is a jumble of crap. A few more El Cheapo carabiners. You never know if you need to repair something like that. That's some small bungee ties. Oh, and they're actually connected with some S beaners from Night Eyes. So this isn't so much a survival kit as a extra crap kit. Now this is nice. This is something I just added. This is my bit driver. This is a ratcheting driver. It's actually got a hex bit attachment on one side. On the other side, it's got a quarter inch drive. So if you had a small socket set, this will work great. So that's in the kit. All right, so like I said, this is a work in progress. There's a number of other tools I'll be adding, but right now I've got screwdrivers, one wrench, um, some soldering gear, some clamps, some fasteners, and so on. So when we do version two, we'll take a look at this again. And we shall see well, how this is coming along. So this again is going to be for larger trips. I will throw this likely in a, uh, you know, I throw this in a canoe bag, a dry bag or a dry box or something for bigger trips. Or, you know, fasten it, carry it in my vehicle or fasten it on my vehicle. I actually have a uh, interesting item I picked up at Christmas. It's a game cart from Cabela's. It was only 60 bucks. It'll carry a few hundred pounds of stuff. Is that really necessary right now? No. And you can only go where it's medium good trails. But in the future, you never know. That might come in handy. I've actually got a lot of land behind me to explore. So one never knows. Could be like one of the people I subscribe to and build a nice little bug out camp or something in the bush. And if I do, whoever's local is invited to come and participate. You know who you are. All right, so when it's all said and done, I think this will weigh about two pounds, maybe a little more, depending on what tools I have in it. I don't need a hammer or anything, so I carry a hatchet. Don't need a sock, so I carry at least one of those. So we shall see what I plan to come up with in version two. Okay, so like I said, that's my larger toolkit. That's the Condor TNT pouch. If I'm going by vehicle, I've got a few kits I throw in the vehicle that are larger and considerably heavier. But right now, I actually weighed it, it's a pound and a half. Be up to about two, maybe even more uh, by the time I add more stuff to it. I know there's some more paracord going in here, there's some more gear ties, uh, just other repair stuff, but there's other types of tools you can throw in here too. Not sure what yet, probably a set of needle nose pliers, although I don't need them, they're on my multi-tool. Um, maybe it's a good set of shears or side cutters. Anyways, we'll see how this goes. I mean, you got any suggestions for something like this? I've got a few slots left. You can post them in the comments. Tell me what you think, and we'll take we'll take a look at this in version two. But right now, yeah, this is for heavier, uh, heavier trips. More for stuff if I'm going out uh, to a location to build something or work on something or work on someone's cabin. Which hasn't happened yet, but it's in the works. And, uh, yeah, so, again, pretty good little kit. So this has been another Alberta Bushcrafter video. My name is Dean. I want to thank you very much for your patience and for watching. Take care. And good day.